to your videos and more and uh, as I promised today I am bringing you the installation video of the Gigabyte Bricks S and also the installation video of the Gigabyte Bricks this is something that you all should know that the installation of the Gigabyte Bricks and the installation of the Gigabyte Bricks S are similar so today I am going to perform an installation of the Bricks S so you can follow the same procedure for the Bricks Okay, and for the installation, let's move on uh, with it. And uh, what you will be needing, first of all, a standard screwdriver because it's a bare bone. You have to open things up. Then the uh, the screws. They come in the packing itself, so you just take them out. I'll guide you through. I'm going to use a 4 GB Kingston SODM RAM. It has a provision for two. I'm going to use one of them and uh, 2.5 inches SSD you can even use a hard drive if you want but I am using an SSD a data SX900 256GB SSD and that's well for Bumblebee that's just for show you don't need him actually for the installation that's just you know to create some dramatics okay so let's move on with the installation video so uh, here I have the bricks with me and I have turned it upside down and uh, these are the four screws that it comes with I have already taken them out and so let's take them out and put them in the corner and you can pick them up from this side and yes this is okay so this is detachable this is the hard drive cage I'll come to this later on first of all you can see inside that uh, we have the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth adapter pre-installed. There is a place for uh, M SATA hard drives, the two SODIM slots, and this is actually the connector which will help you in connecting your solid-state drive or your hard drive, which depends on whatever you are installing. And this is the power connector and the solid and the hard drive connector. It comes with both the things uh, combined. And uh, yes, the SODIMs. Uh, handle them like this don't touch the golden area because that might damage it and if you're installing two of them I'm having one you if you're installing two of them first install the uh, in the bottom line then you can move on to the upper line okay but I have one I can install any either way it's as simple as that this notch over here should match with this notch right over here in the slot so let's match it up with the notch and uh, yeah and now with both your hands simply press it down and that's it the click and that and it's done okay now let's keep this aside and uh, move on with the how we are going to install this SSD the two screws are already installed so let's uh, get rid of them okay one is uh, out and uh, I'm gonna move to the second one all right so that's done now we have the whole cage moved out now what you have to do right over here is uh, you can install the solid state drive either by screwing them over here or at the back I prefer the back so just slide it in like this as simple as that it's there right inside now take all those screws and gently place them at the back and uh, tighten it just to okay a little okay okay and then diagonally I prefer the diagonal method because it evens out the pressure okay that's done over there let's fasten it really nice because it's an expensive piece of hardware and I don't want to mess it up so let's uh, screw it all uh, very nicely okay so there's the third one and here I have with me the fourth one and uh, voila your solid state drive is sealed and secured now you can place it in like this but one thing that you have to remember that now we'll take the brick in our hand and uh, just uh, see okay here's, here's how it's gonna match okay so we're gonna place it right over here and this connector take it match it the small one goes to the small one and the larger one with this larger one match them nicely and uh, insert them right in like that now it's secured take the case and uh, put it yeah just match the 
screws where you have to put them and uh, then gently insert one of them so that it's secured from one side the other side as well uh, it's good to have magnetic screwdrivers okay and uh, okay so now we are done I guess two should be enough and uh, now this up this up arrow will match with the SO dim side so just insert it gently inside and uh, there you go I have matched them now put the screws back in tighten them and uh, your brick is ready to go Our bricks is all configured and ready to go. We just need to install uh, OS. The bricks support Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and even the upcoming Windows 10. Also you can go with Chrome OS, Linux or any of them Ubuntu even. I mean all the OS's work on this. And just make sure because this, is, this doesn't come with an optical drive. You need to install it through either a flash drive, you create a bootable uh, version of your OS or, or you know you connect a portable uh, optical drive to it and yeah during my installation I faced this problem so I am briefing you on this to make it a GPT partition because only a GPT partition was supported on my hard drive or my solid state drive you can say so it's up to you just install the OS, install the drivers and you are good to go. I hope you liked my video, do like and subscribe and I have done the performance video, I have done the unboxing, you can just follow them in the links, I have given them in the description below and thanks for watching guys and I will see you later, bye bye and take care and yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like and share, thank you.